Hi, my name is Frank Valencia, Buyers Advocate and Director of Advantage Property Consulting, Buyers Advocates. Now, we've always asked what's happening in the marketplace, you know, the most common question, you know, should I buy now or should I wait? Uh, well, at the moment, we're in a pretty balanced market in Melbourne. Uh, so let's have a look at the, the numbers, basically the, you know, the variables that we look at in terms of showing whether the market is a buyer's market and a seller's market. And I think we're pretty balanced at the moment. Firstly, we look at clearance rates over the last quarter. Over the last three months, Melbourne's auction clearance rate has averaged around 75% most weeks. So that's a fairly balanced market. As we get to more of a seller's market, uh, we get the clearance rate up in the 80s, 80 to 90%. We're in more uh, of a buyer's market. The clearance rate can be as low as 50 to 60%. So we're pretty balanced at the moment. Okay, the, the second number we look at is auction volumes. And again, when the market is uh, booming, usually the auction volumes are up. At the moment, we're averaging around 600, 700 auctions most weekends. So again, showing it's a fairly balanced market as we sort of move more towards that seller's market. More sellers get their properties on the market, we start to get to more, uh, up to 800 to 1,000 properties most weekends. Another test is the days on market, how long it's taking properties to sell. At the moment, the average days on market is around 35 days uh, as we again are progressing to a stronger seller's market that can get as low as 25 to 30 days. Uh, how many bidders we see at auction is another test of the market and we're generally, on most of the auctions we're attending, we're seeing two to four bidders, that's about the average uh, as, as things heat up again. We tend to see you know four to six plus bidders and auctions uh, seeing their reserves smashed by hundreds of thousands. We're not seeing that at, at the moment as much um, or on a, on a regular basis. Um, this market will though shift I think next year. So we're gonna see interest rates uh, look, looking to move downwards. Uh, what happens then, prices start to increase. We start to see the variables that we discussed before uh, move more towards that uh, seller's market end. Uh, prices start to increase and we start to sort of shift more from the balanced market to a seller's market. So uh, at the moment, the Melbourne property market is at a balanced level. Um, houses are performing a lot stronger than apartments. Uh, the clearance rates and, and strength of the market for houses is a lot higher than uh, the apartment market. So we look forward to seeing you next time uh, with our next market update.